The federal sex trafficking investigation involving music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is expanding. All people that love the truth got to be happy if the truth coming out and lies is getting exposed. TGJ, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include TDJ. I heard he, he said that he's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. If everything was true, all I got to do is repent. True repentance is not just saying I'm sorry. Anybody can say I'm sorry. Homeland Security Investigations agents staged a dramatic entry into P. Diddy's home, displaying their weapons and carrying out a search warrant. The situation was heated as they rushed through the property, quickly removing many people discovered inside. The operation did not end there. They seized numerous electronic devices thought to contain critical evidence. These gadgets, which are subject to court-authorized searches, are thought to hold potentially controversial information about P. Diddy's relationships with other celebrities, including T.D. Jakes. These celebrities have recently been thrust into the spotlight as a result of court documents related to music producer Rodney Jones' massive $30 million lawsuit against P. Diddy. Jones filed his lawsuit on February 26, leveling severe charges against P. Diddy, including sexual misconduct and grooming. The court struggle has now drawn in some major personalities, adding a hot edge to the drama. However, P. Diddy's lawyers are fighting back adamantly refuting all claims and boldly claiming they have overwhelming, rock-solid evidence demonstrating Jones' accusations are nothing more than lies. Jones details his charges in a complaint with the federal district court in New York. One key argument implies that persons linked with P. Diddy profited financially from supporting his alleged illegal activities by obtaining access to his powerful connections. One of the celebrities named in the lawsuit is T.D. Jakes. While Jakes is not directly accused of any wrongdoing, court documents allege that P. Diddy's fame provided Jakes with access to a diverse range of notable personalities, including famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and even international dignitaries such as British Royal Prince Harry. However, it is important to stress that Jakes is not accused of any misbehavior in the lawsuit. According to the documents, Jones claims that P. Diddy wanted to use his relationship with TV Jakes to reduce the damage from Cassie Ventura's lawsuit, potentially reducing the impact on his public image. These developments come as federal agents purportedly raid P. Diddy's mansions in Los Angeles, California, and Miami, Florida. Despite the swirling rumors and investigations, it is critical to note that Diddy categorically denies any wrongdoing and has not faced criminal charges. In a strong declaration, he promises to forcefully protect his reputation and the truth itself. The emerging events present a picture of mystery and suspense, with the public on the edge of their seats, waiting for any discoveries from this high-profile investigation. T.D. Jakes is seen by many as a pastor and spiritual leader of his church, with a position of influence and authority within his community, which is why his involvement in the charges against P. Diddy has raised eyebrows and prompted alarm. I speak that which I what know, you, what you see. okay, man, and I testify to what I see. What you see. All, the, all that other stuff that he's accused of, I don't know nothing about. Right. I, I don't know whether he was doing the sloppy toppy. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> that's right. I don't know that. I don't know who he was playing house was, with. I don't know. That's right. I know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know <laughs> that he was at Diddy's party mm -hmm. because he was dumb enough. They videotaped him. Videotaped. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his hand, his head on him. My Lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My Lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know. All that other stuff. I heard he, he said that He's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, take off. <laughs> Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold-faced lie. That's right. Man, 68 years old, 
you ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. So you're not too old no. to be a freak. No, no. T. Jakes should have avoided any involvement with people who live an immoral lifestyle, particularly those facing significant legal charges, such as those made against P. Diddy. Pastors, by definition, are required to maintain high moral standards and honesty. Associating with people entangled in legal disputes, particularly those involving charges of serious misbehavior, might taint their reputation and call into question their moral compass. Perception is extremely important in the field of leadership, especially in spiritual affairs. Even if T.D. Jakes is not directly accused of any misconduct, his relationship with P. Diddy in the middle of such scandalous allegations may give the appearance of impropriety, weakening his followers' faith and credibility. Pastors are responsible for the spiritual well-being of their congregations. Getting connected with people like P. Giddy, who are in serious legal difficulties, may unintentionally expose members of the church to questionable influences or ethical dilemmas. T.D. Jakes, as a public person, has earned the faith and trust of his supporters. Engaging with people involved in high-profile court disputes may undermine public faith and confidence in his leadership, potentially leading to disappointment among his followers. Pastors are called to shepherd their flocks and offer spiritual advice and support. Participation in legal controversies or high-profile scandals might distract from this fundamental objective, drawing attention and resources away from the spiritual needs of the community. While some believe T.D. Jakes crossed contact with P. Diddy through various social circles or professional commitments, pastors must show prudence and judgment in their affiliations, especially when those associations involve people facing severe legal claims. Pastors can continue to function as spiritual leaders and moral authority pillars in their communities by prioritizing moral integrity, protecting the flock, and preserving public trust. The affiliation between T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy, particularly in light of the swirling rumors and potential evidence of their close friendship, could have a number of bad consequences for both Jakes and the community as a whole. T.D. Jakes' relationship with P. Diddy, especially in light of significant legal charges and probable evidence of wrongdoing, could harm his reputation and integrity. Members of his congregation and the public may doubt his judgment and moral standing, perhaps leading to a loss of confidence and support. T.D. Jakes, an influential figure in the religious community, wields enormous power over his followers. However, his relationship with someone like P. Diddy, who is mired in scandal and legal difficulties, could hinder his ability to successfully lead and guide his flock. People may be less likely to listen to his advice or follow his teachings if they see him as compromised by his associations. Trust is critical in every leadership position, especially in questions of faith and spirituality. The disclosure of hidden truths or unethical actions involving P. Diddy has the potential to destroy T.D. Jake's credibility among his congregation and the general public. People may feel misled or disillusioned if they believe T.D. Jake's was aware of or involved in any misconduct. If evidence links T.D. Jake's to any illegal or unethical action involving P. Diddy, he could face legal consequences. Even if he is not directly involved in any crime, his association with those involved in illegal activity or scandals may draw negative attention from law enforcement or regulatory authorities. A pastor should embody moral integrity, humility, compassion, and knowledge in order to serve as a guiding light and source of spiritual support for their church and community. TJs should have prioritized these attributes and avoided people like P. Diddy whose lifestyle and associations contradict biblical ideals and principles. A pastor should maintain high moral standards in both their personal and professional lives. T.D. Jakes may have showed his dedication to moral integrity and ethical conduct by staying away from people like P. Diddy, who may be engaging in questionable or unethical activity. Pastors have a unique chance to improve the lives of those around them by their words, deeds, and connections. T.D. Jakes could have had a more positive and uplifting influence on his social circle and community by surrounding himself with people who exhibit virtues like honesty, kindness, and integrity.
A pastor should be held accountable not only to their church, but also to their own conscience and religious values. T.D. Jakes may have maintained a stronger sense of accountability in his leadership capacity by avoiding affiliations that could jeopardize his integrity or deviate from his moral compass. Pastors must exercise discernment as they manage the complexities of human relationships and cultural influences. T.D. Jakes may have made better decisions that were more connected with his principles and beliefs if he had used discernment in his associations and been aware of the potential impact on his reputation and ministry. T.D. Jakes should have sought to be a virtuous and ethical pastor, setting a good example and building an environment conducive to spiritual growth, moral integrity, and positive influence. T.D. Jock should have better honored his duty and responsibilities as a pastor by staying away from people like P. Diddy, whose lifestyle and relationships contradict biblical precepts. The ongoing drama involving P. Diddy, the allegations, and T.D. Jock's affiliation highlights the delicate balance that pastors must strike between their responsibilities as spiritual leaders and their interactions with the outside world. The dramatic entry of Homeland Security Investigations agents into P. Diddy's home, combined with the subsequent legal fights and swirling charges, has tarnished the reputations of all involved, notably T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes, as a pastor, should have stressed moral integrity, responsibility, and discernment in his affiliations, staying away from people like P. Diddy who are mired in controversy and legal difficulty. While the pull of popularity and influence was appealing, T.D. Jakes might have better served his church and community by staying true to his dedication to mentoring others on their spiritual journeys and following the values of his faith-based ministry. The negative impact of T.D. Jakes' relationship with P. Diddy, combined with the possible disclosure of hidden secrets and unethical behavior, emphasizes the significance of leaders keeping diligent in protecting their reputation influence, and moral compass. Moving forward, pastors like T.D. Jakes must learn from this episode and devote themselves to the ideals of honesty, humility, and leadership. This allows them to continue inspiring and uplifting those they serve while managing the world's difficulties with wisdom, grace, and steadfast faith. Anyway, I hope you liked viewing this movie, and I pray that we will all continue to strive to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded. When a new video is uploaded, thank you for watching.